Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra. And in this video, we will do the hands-on practice of Red Hat 188 exam. So let me go to our first practice exercise. So here is the exercise, what we need to do here. We need to create a simple container. And uh, here is the specification of the container it should be. First, uh, use image HTTPD and the tag should be latest. Number two, run in detached mode, but means our container should be run in the background. Number three, container uh, name should be test one. So while we will create container, we will name it as test one. Number four, bind container port 82, local port 8001, right? So uh, whatever request we will send from the our local machine on 8001 port, it will be binding to the port 80 of the container. It will be listened by the container then in 80 port. Then uh, further is, Container should take uh, this path from the local file. Uh, if we update local index.html, so here is the file index.html local we are having. So if we update local index.html file con uh, content, then it should reflect in the container. Okay, so what once our container is running, whatever change we will made in our local index.html file, local file system, then it should also be reflect inside the container, right? So HTTP server will be running there. Our page, once we will do the refresh in the browser, our page should reflect the latest content of the index.html file that we will do and will check. So here is the hint is also given. So HTTP default location, right? So our HTTP server default location in which it read the HTML file is the user local Apache 2 and HT docs, okay? So let me go ahead and apply our solution and let's see that every part of this exercise has been applied to the solution or not. So for that, let me move to the command prompt first and here we require the podman. So Podman is already there in my machine and running. So if I go and check the images, what all images I am having. So Podman images command. So currently I am not having any images and uh, also uh, no uh, container is as of now running. Okay, so if I give the ps-a command, so it is saying no container and no images in my Podman. Okay, so let me move back to our exercise and let me do one by one. So we have to create a container, right? So to create a container, we have to give command Podman run. Once we will give the run command, then it will create the container. Okay, let me go ahead. Um, it should use the image so it the image name should be the last in the command so we will give this at the last run in the detached mode second point is so if we want that our container should be run in background then we have to run it in a detached mode then we have to provide the hyphen d option then container change container name should be test one so for it we have to provide option hyphen hyphen name and then a space and the container name. Container name should be test one. Third point is bind container port 802, local port 8001. Okay, so in my local machine, so what I have to do, I have to use the hyphen P option and then local port 8001, I have to return first and colon and the container port 80. So in that way, whatever, uh, request will reach to the 800 port in my local machine. It will be forwarded to the uh, container port 80. Okay. So this is the port binding. Now, next thing is container should take this file system, right? And from the local. So what we have to do, we have to wind a volume here, our local file system volume to the container file system, okay? And what we have to do, the hint is already provided. So what we will do, we will link these, uh, our local directory uh, C, uh, Q1 content to the user local Apache 2 HD docs. Okay, that we have to do. So uh, let me do ahead and uh, here we have to use the hyphen V option, which is the volume option, volume binding option. And then let me copy this. here till directory and then you have to provide colon and the container directory uh, 
okay so what we are doing here we are binding our local directory content directory to the container directory htdocs okay now here these all things we have done now the final things we have to do the in the image right so from where it should get so we are not uh, specifying any registry here so by default it will it will get the image from the docker repository itself okay so let me now run this this is the final command this is the final solution for this exercise let me apply it here and then we will test our solution so what it is trying to do it's because no image is there so first it is getting the httpd image with the latest tag from the uh, docker uh, hub okay you can see here trying to pull from the docker io because we did not specify any specific uh, image registry so by default it will taking it from the docker so our image is there and uh, everything looking fine so our uh, uh container has been created and must be running code okay to check it we will give command podman uh, ps hyphen a so here we can see container id and image is http latest and uh, created good status is also a port binding we can see here and the name is test one okay so everything is looking good to us and let me also see whether we now Podman is having image or not, right? So if I give Podman images command, so we can see images also here, right? So first it will pull the image, then it will uh, load this image into the container with the specification and the container will be created, okay? So this is how it will work. Now let me test whether our container is working good. So uh, for it, let me go to our browser and here in the browser, let me give local host and uh, we bind the port 800128 and enter. Okay. So it is showing. Okay. Welcome. Uh, okay. Now let me uh, change the content of the index.html file. Okay, so this is my content folder. It is my index.html file. Let me open it in the uh, notepad. Okay, so current version is, you can see here, the same content we are seeing here, okay? So let me change its version to 0.52, let me change it to six and save it and then see whether these changes are reflecting or not. So if I refresh, it should reflect, okay? Now this is reflecting. So it means everything is working good here, right? So we have created the content and we have, uh, if we are updating anything in the index.html file, then it is reflecting to the container. So it's all about the first exercise uh, in this series. And very soon I will upload another exercise for this um, practice exam of Red Hat 188. Thanks for watching.